Hi, I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And welcome to Vitamin Junkies, where we're addicted to health. We are. A quick thank you to our music providers, the people who give this lovely ta 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 sound, ta 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 thing. It is Podshow Podsafe Music Network. Music dot podshow dot com is how you reach those very generous people who have lent us our theme music. Now, in case you're wondering who you're watching, I am the mother of two boys. I have a son Ryan, who's three, and Aiden, who's six. And I've had a personal interest in alternative health for probably about six years now. And I've joined forces with Dr. JJ to fight bad health. Fight bad health. I'm a naturopathic doctor, a researcher, and a public speaker. Very good. So tell us, what is naturopathic medicine? Naturopathic medicine is science-based medicine, but instead of us treating with uh, pharmaceutical drugs, we treat you naturally. So vitamins, herbs, uh, acupuncture, homeopathy, amino acids, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Diet. That's okay. the whole umbrella of naturopathic medicine. Who can practice naturopathic medicine? Uh, you need to be licensed to be a naturopathic doctor. Uh, we are licensed in five or six provinces in Canada, and approximately about 15 states in the United States. Um, each state or province has a licensing body. You need to have completed a, a bachelor degree in science, and then you have to go through four years of naturopathic college, and then you have to pass uh, board exams for the for the entire um, uh, entire North America. We write the same board exams. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And it's pretty rigorous. Yeah. How does that compare to the training a medical doctor receives? Uh, it's comparable in terms of hours, in terms of hours of training and amount uh, and hours of clinical time. Our exams are actually longer um, and more uh, more exhaustive than the than the medical uh, than the medical mm -hmm. exams. Yeah, we we go through about a week of exams to finally get our license. Okay. Um, the difference um, is they have a two-year residency. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a two-year residency because there are no naturopathic hospitals, right? So we don't have that option to go in residency. So that would probably be the big difference: is the two-year residency. We go into practice after four years, but prior to that, we spend a year in clinical practice along with um, along with taking classes. Very good. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. So why would somebody see a naturopathic doctor? Well, I, the question is, why don't you see a naturopathic doctor? Okay. Um, uh, many reasons. In clinical practice, uh, I would say approximately about 50% of my patients, maybe 60% are women. Mm -hmm. uh, women will come and see me most often because they're more health conscious, uh, I would say. And often women will come and see me for problems that there is no pharmaceutical uh, solution for, like there's no drug-based solution for. So often they'll come uh, for just a general symptom of fatigue, mm -hmm. um, in some cases maybe because they have low thyroid or, or, or other problems. Um, a lot of hormonal complaints, um, anything from PMS, uh, hot flashes during menopause, menstrual cramps, and we'll see a lot of women for that, infertility, those are, those are common concerns. Uh, and digestive problems, very common people come in with, uh, with the digestive problems. So just gas, bloating, cramps, um, food allergies. We recently did a show on allergies. We get a lot of people coming in for allergies also. Um, and we also get people that come in uh, because no one's been able to give them an answer. Uh, they've gone to see this doctor and that specialist, and they come to see us and they say, listen, Dr. JJ, I'm in pain. This hurts, that hurts, this, I'm not feeling any better, I'm not getting answers, can you do anything? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we work outside the box and we do something. I know the first time I went to see a naturopathic doctor was when I was pregnant with my son Ryan because I had a really bad cold and I didn't want to take anything, uh, any medication. So I went and saw the naturopath and I tried so many different things. I tried, I was overwhelmed, quite honestly, vitamin C, hydrotherapy, uh, all sorts of tinctures, other supplements, and it was just too much. I was so emotional and it had lasted for three weeks mm. and I was crying because I couldn't sleep. By the end of it, a colleague of mine at work who also saw a naturopath said, you know, at this point you can see a medical doctor, you can take medication. So I went and I got a prescription because it had turned into bronchitis. I pulled a rib and stuff. But anyways, hmm. I felt bad that I had done that, but it cleared it up and it made me get past it. Mm -hmm. But I still see that naturopath now. Yeah. Well, the, the, the thing is, um, and, and 
in these um, uh, in, in an alternative and, call, and, and conventional medicine, you definitely want to avoid. You definitely want to stay away from from opinions or practices of fundamentalism, which is what I call. Which is what I call. There's the fundamentals on one side that say that are against anything that's natural and alternative, and say that it's all quackery or, or etc. And then there's the fundamentalists on on our side who are said, oh, all drugs are bad. Um, I think there's a happy medium. Mm -hmm. I work well with um, uh, with medical doctors. I work at two hospitals. I have no problems working with, with doctors. And I would say the majority of my patients are already on medications. Um, and based on my research into the literature, a lot of the studies are done on patients that are already taking ex existing medications and we're giving them natural health products. Of course, you need to be followed when you're doing these things, and both your medical doctor and your naturopathic doctor need, need to know of this, but there's no reason why they can't coexist uh, together. Um, and we're very good on the prevention side. Yes. We are very good on the prevention side. They are kick-ass on the acute side, right? If I have bronchitis, if I have pneumonia, I'm going to go for antibiotics, right? Like, there's certain things that you want right away. If you have a clot, you want it dissolved right away. So. There's, there's drugs that I would take without any hesitation, and sometimes it's time for antibiotics, right? But I would take my antibiotic, and then I would wait a couple of hours, and then I'd take my probiotic. probiotic to right? combat so, it, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, so thank you. That was, thank you for saying that, because that was something mm -hmm. that I really struggled with. Because mm -hmm. I was on that side, oh, oh, conventional medicine is bad, and yeah, I've come to yeah. find that there is, there is a balance. It's your health, and we're not into fundamentalist ideologies. You basically want to do, we want to be patient-centered, and ultimately, mm -hmm. if if the naturopathic doctor, me, and the medical doctor are patient-centered, then ultimately we're doing the best thing for your care. Exactly. So, you know, philosophies aside, we do what's best for you, and that's it. We lead this way or that way, as long as the patient's happy and they're healthy, that's what we do. Great. Mm -hmm. So what can somebody expect at a typical appointment? Uh, we spend a lot of time. <laughs> uh, my, first, my first intake with, um, uh, with my patients are usually about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I go over your entire medical history, your family history, uh, risk factors, do you smoke, uh, do you exercise regularly, do you drink water, what do you eat, uh, any previous surgeries, what are your main complaints, and we look, we look for patterns, we look for patterns in your diseases and try, to, and try to fix things according to the main disease process that's going on. Um, then after that, we usually look at your diet, send you off, do some changes, sometimes we detox you, other times we stick needles in you for acupuncture. Other times we stick needles into you for IV treatments, um, and then uh, you come back and you know you feel better. Hopefully, normally you do. Uh, you refer your friends. <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah. Now you've touched yeah. on a few of the remedies that naturopaths typically mm -hmm. use. Now, did mm -hmm. you want to also talk about home homeopathy and? Yep. Uh, homeopathy is, uh, is separate from naturopathy, um, however it is included under a naturopathic doctor's license. Uh, homeopathy is based on the philosophy of like cures like. Uh, it doesn't exactly make sense um, when you think about it, nor does it make sense scientifically. However, clinically, there's, uh, if you were to go to the stadium in any city in Canada or North America, if you, were, if you would put all the people in that city that had been helped, even had their lives saved by homeopathy, they would fill that stadium. Wow. So right here in Toronto, if you'd go to the Rogers Center, it's probably a capacity of 50,000, you would fill that stadium with people saying, listen, homeopathy saved my life, turned my life around, or saved the life of my child. So, so it shouldn't be discounted. So um, basically, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a system of medicine and based on like, cure, uh, like cures like, and you give a very small dose of a remedy that when given to a healthy person causes the symptoms you see in the sick person. Huh. Okay. So, for example, uh, if someone comes to you with a bee sting, you give them homeopathic bee sting. Uh, if someone comes to you with a skin rash or poison ivy, you give them homeopathic poison ivy. It doesn't really make any sense, but it works. Uh, one of the things I was surprised at when I was learning about homeopathy just from a book and from what my naturopath has been teaching me, um, Alam Sipa? Mm -hmm. or runny nose, mm -hmm. and when I read a book about homeopathy, it's from an onion. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, you get teary-eyed and runny nose, and it's like, oh, so it's like, here's the like, okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, it's clever. Yeah, it's pretty neat, actually. Very yeah, good. yeah, and there's a lot of link between the botanicals and the homeopathics, too. They're pretty neat, like for Arnica, very interesting stuff. Arnica is what the, um, the mountaineers used to take at the beginning of the season, 
um, so that they wouldn't get as much joint pain. And the arnica is commonly what you use for bruises and scraps and stuff oh. like that. So. Very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, what about uh, botanical tinctures as well? That's another mm -hmm. common thing. Yeah, we do that too. Uh, botanical tinctures or capsules or standardized extracts. So anything from the, uh, the ginkgo biloba's to the garlics uh, to the milk thistles to the black cohosh, we do that stuff too. Yep. Very good. Yep. So are there particular conditions that you tend to work on that people tend to come see you with? I would say the most common complaint we get is hormonal. Okay. Most often it's women complaining of uh, hormonal problems. Digestive, uh, musculoskeletal, um, fatigue, very common. Uh, in many women uh, we, we have to correct energy issues. Mm -hmm. Either it's thyroid related or they're anemic. Uh, or they have digestive problems. So, yeah. How often should somebody see a naturopath? Uh, what's nice about us is that the first visit is the longest and we paint the picture of your, of your health as a whole. Um, then we put you on a certain treatment plan. In many cases we, we get the desired results and then follow up to usually every three months to six months. Sometimes some people come in once a year. And that's it. Then we just check in, make sure everything is fine. If there's an acute, they call me, we fix it, and that's it. What do you mean by a search and treatment plan? Uh, based on you, your current health concerns, your medical history, what you want to do. Like say, for example, if someone's coming to me to see headaches, we, for headaches, we fix the headaches, they go off, right, headaches are fixed. But some people come in because they have a family history of cancer or heart disease. So then we'll put them on the heart disease stuff, and then we'll put them on fish oils, we'll monitor them and stuff like that. If they have a family history of cancer, then we recommend things such as green tea, garlic, um, selenium, a lot of things that have been shown in the science, in the scientific literature to help prevent cancer. So it depends what everybody's needs. Like, it's always tailored to you. It's not a cookie-cutter approach where you go in and, you know, here, you get this, and you get this, and you get this, and it's all the same thing, right? Like, we, we specifically tailor it to you. Now I know I see my naturopath as my family doctor. Mm -hmm. I see her whenever my kids get sick or I get sick and I can't cure it from the things that she's taught me. And then I come go see her and, and we get to the bottom of it. And she's like, oh, you're missing this and this. And I'm like, oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. We get to the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. And what's su surprising is hydrotherapy, mm -hmm. um, the wet sock treatment. <laughs> uh, so that's where you put cold uh, cotton socks on your feet and then you put the wool socks on top and you go to bed. Yeah. My kids know that when they're sick, that that helps them feel better. That's great. Yeah. So it works it's, very well. It does. It's very effective. So. Yeah. Also great too for sprains and strains. What I tell oh. to uh, to patients. It's funny. Uh, uh, one of our patients uh, sprained sprained his ankle just recently, and similar thing too. Once you get swelling of, of an ankle or a joint, I just tell patients run your ankle under under the tap in the bathtub. So hot. 30 seconds, cold, 30 seconds, hot, 30 seconds, cold, 30 seconds, and you actually see the swelling decreasing because mm -hmm. you're driving a lot more blood flow to the area, yeah. and it also decreases the pain too, so it works really well for inflammation. Same Very thing good. for wrists, like anywhere that you kind of mm -hmm. acutely injure. Works well for that. Mm -hmm. So how much does it cost to see a naturopath? Aha, uh -huh. um, uh, first treatment's usually about uh, $150 because we spend a good hour, hour and 15 minutes uh, mm -hmm. with you, and after that the follow-ups are usually 60 bucks, so, okay. you know, usually based on time. And is that covered by any plans? Uh, it's covered by most, uh, actually most people I've seen who have private health plans or through their employers, through the government, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or through their spouses. They usually have a certain allotment for naturopathic medicine. Uh, unfortunately, it's not covered under um, uh, subsidized health care, so through the government or uh, anything like that. So. Very good. I think that's everything. It's been very informative. Yay! Yay! We're done. Let's so talk more about me. Wait, no, no, okay, we're done. No more talking about me. Very good. So, yes. a naturopathic doctor mm -hmm. is just one member, potential member, of your health team. Exactly. The team, yes. yes. It's a team. So, it your medical, you should still have a medical doctor, naturopath, mm -hmm. you can consider acupuncturist, yes. osteopath. Sure. Although Maybe. we do acupuncture too, but yeah, yes. yeah, all those people, that's true. Osteopath. Yes, osteopath, they're great people. Very we should good. have one on the show. We, we should. We should have one on the we show. We should. We should. Very good. Okay. So, on that note, let's wrap up. Wrap it up. How do I find a naturopath? Uh, for those of you in Canada, go to the Canadian Association of Naturopathic Doctors. Uh, there'll be a link on our website. And for those of you in the United States, go to the American Association of Naturopathic Physicians. There will be a link on our website, vitaminjunkies.com. And don't forget to go to our website to sign up for Vitamin Junkies Anonymous. Yeah, you got it. Vitamin Junkies Anonymous. There you go.
There you, you go. You go, girl. You go. Okay, I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. Thank you for joining us today, and let's keep up the addiction to health. Let's keep up the addiction to health. High five. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.